Well, the method that we're going to show you today to get your unrecognizable files from your SD card onto your computer, we're going to be using my MacBook Pro computer and my iPhone. Unfortunately, if you have Microsoft products or Samsung products, I'm not exactly sure what the steps would be to get the files from the SD card to the computer. You'd have to troubleshoot that yourself if you have those products. Sorry. Unless Windows has some kind of AirDrop feature that Mac does or Apple products do, because that's what we're going to be using is like an AirDrop from the phone to the computer. And for those of you that don't know, Josh and I are actually travel vloggers and we've been on the road for about two and a half weeks now. We had seen other videos on YouTube about this same issue, but the way that they did it, you would lose resolution and only be able to have videos in 720p. With this method, we're actually able to import the files and still keep the same resolution that you shot in which is awesome, because who wants 720p? This is 2017. So to start out, we will take the SD card from the GoPro, put it into the SD card adapter, then insert the adapter into the computer. An SD card icon will pop up on your desktop. Click on that, then go into the DCIM folder, which will allow you to access all of the files that are on that SD card. So what we're going to do is scroll down to the image or video that we would like to import. And right now for the beginning, I'm just going to show you that the image that I'm going to select is unfortunately unrecognizable by this computer. So here's the video that I want. And as you can see, you are still able to view it inside of the SD card. But unfortunately, once we go into photos here, Go to Imports or New Imports. And we will scroll down and we're going to find that same image that is on the SD card that we would like to import. So select that, Import. But unfortunately, this message pops up saying, Cannot Import Item. So this video is unrecognizable by my computer for some reason. So once we are done with that, we will eject the SD card from the computer and we are going to actually put the SD card back into the GoPro. Once it is back in the GoPro, we will power the GoPro on. This will allow us to connect the GoPro to our GoPro app. So once it is connected, go down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen that will allow you to view the media inside of this SD card. So scroll down to the video that you would like to select. So as you can see, this is the video that we were viewing on the SD card when it was in the computer. So what we are going to do is select the import button, which is the one at the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, it says calculating and converting. So it is a lengthy process depending on how long the video is. This one was about a minute 28 seconds and it took about five to six minutes uh, to convert this file. But once it's converted, it will save to your phone. So as you can see, it says complete. And it saves to my photos or inside of my photos folder. And there you have it, it is right there. It has successfully saved to my phone. So now what I can do is share and airdrop, and it says Joshua's MacBook. So I can successfully airdrop this to my computer. So right here I will do accept. And saved to download. And this is also a decently lengthy process, but as you can see, it has successfully saved to my downloads. I sped up the time so that it wouldn't seem that long, but there you have it. It is saved to my downloads, so it is on my computer successfully. And now what I will do is go to File, Save, and then I can name this file and then save it to my desktop. So I'll name it Video Bro. And there you have it, desktop. And it is saving. And this time I, I didn't speed it up, so that was just how long it took. It didn't take that long at all to actually save. But there you go. So there you have it. You can use this method to successfully import unrecognizable GoPro files.
Yeah. Thanks for watching, and if this video helped you out, be sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe and follow us on all of our social media to tag along for the adventure. Go do it!